And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about taking aim at abuses in California's residential care facilities. My guest in this segment is Marty Block, a member of the State Senate from San Diego. Thanks for being with us. Good to work, Steve. There are a whole host of like a dozen or so bills floating around the legislature, most of them still waiting their first hearings, uh, dealing with abuses in some of these facilities. And uh, I know from, from your standpoint, there have been a lot of documented issues in San Diego. Yeah, the Union Tribune did a, a really good watchdog report on abuses in San Diego. They found as many as 27 deaths over the last several years that might be attributable to negligence in some of these facilities. And you're talking, we're talking about San Diego, but there have been issues, you know, across the state. And here in California, we have uh, 7,500 to 8,000 of these facilities with 150,000 residents. So, you know, it's an important statewide issue, obviously. Yeah, throughout the state, I've got <clears throat> colleagues who are running similar bills, uh, trying to make sure we we protect our seniors because they're among the most vulnerable in our population. In 1985, California passed what was then considered a landmark bill dealing with this issue. Is it outdated? Well, we've, we've grown so much that we need to change to keep up with the times, and particularly among seniors with our aging population, aging baby boomers. Mm -hmm. We don't really right now have uh, the laws or, the, frankly, the finances to keep up with the demand. I know your legislation uh, deals in part with uh, training. And my legislation does three things. First of all, it requires greater training for those who work in these facilities. Right now, um, a manicurist, a hairdresser, a, an S, someone who works on facials, um, they require many, many, many times the hours of training as a person who works every day with sick and elderly in these assisted living facilities. So we want to, first of all, raise the training requirement. Second of all, um, this bill says that if a, a home takes in people with particularly severe and acute um, situations, health situations, that special <coughs> health professionals need to be hired to handle these. You can't just take lay people off the street. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, and the reason the bill is SB 911, um, is it empowers employees to call 911 if they think there's an emergency or something going on that's wrong at a facility. Right now, uh, frequently the owners of facilities uh, will threaten those who call 911 with uh, with some type of discipline or even with firing. So this is kind of whistleblower protection for those who call 911 to protect the elderly residents. Uh, your bill has not been heard in committee yet, correct? It has not, that's correct. And most of the others haven't, but I can imagine what the argument will be from some of these facilities is that uh, you you know you're going to pass a you know a blanket uh, measure that if, that goes after the some of the bad apples, but but also hurts the you know the good folks and that it's going to drive up costs which will drive up costs toward you know to, to the elderly and their families who, who are you know putting these folks in the facilities well the the training that we're requiring is not onerous at all again it's it's relatively minor but hopefully will bring people to a higher standard than they have right now um, costs might go up slightly uh, but protection will go up, and that's, I think, the safety of folks, uh, our parents, ourselves in a few years, um, is worth the slight extra cost. Do you think there should be nurses on duty or more nurses available? It depends on the type of patients a home accepts. If they accept patients that have particularly acute health considerations, then there should be nurses or, or other major health professionals on staff. Mm -hmm. um, one, one part of the, my bill, by the way, a new bill we're going to be introducing, requires that uh, these facilities pay slightly more in licensure fees every year mm -hmm. to help fund more inspections of these facilities. That's another key component. All right. Well, Senator Marty Bullock from uh, San Diego, thank you very much for talking about this uh, and very important issue. We appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. Have a great day.